In today's two minute tech tip, I want to show you two must have tools for working with Kubernetes day to day. When working with Kubernetes, you always have to pass the end flag when you run kubectl commands, which is the namespace. So I say kubectl get namespace. And then whenever I want to run a kubectl command, I need to specify the namespace. So if I want to get pods, I need to say minus n and the namespace I want to get pods in. So you see, I have to run that. If I want to get deployments, I have to do the same thing and get deployments. Even if I want to get logs I have to do the same thing again this means I have to do a lot of copy pasting of the namespace every time or instead I can use this utility called kubeNS so if I run kubeNS it prints out the namespaces I can then say kubeNS with the name of the namespace I want to switch to and look at that it sets the active namespace to the one I selected this means I can run kubectl commands without passing in the namespace as you can see here now similarly when working on multiple clusters I have to use use the kubectl config command to say get context so I can see all my clusters and the one that's active and then I have to switch clusters with this long command called kubectl config use context and then I can switch to the cluster I want to switch to so I can say I want to switch to dev or I can say I want to switch to prod and then I need to say get contexts again to see which one is currently active. Or instead of running all those long commands, I can just say kubectx and kubectx will show me which cluster I'm currently using. And if I want to switch to a different cluster, I just say kubectx and I pass in the name of the cluster and then I'll switch to that one. If I run kubectx again, you can see which one is active. And if you combine these two utilities with a project called kubeps1, you can actually see the combination of cluster that I'm currently pointing to and the namespace that I'm currently pointing to as well. So you can see just by looking at my command prompt, I'm currently pointing to the dev cluster and I'm pointing to the ingress namespace. If I switch to production, you can see I'm now pointing to the production US East cluster and the default namespace. Now kubectx and kubeNS is on GitHub with a full demo on how to use it as well as installation instructions. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux. The kubeps one project is also on GitHub with examples on how to use it, install it and set it up. Now that is it for our two minute tech tip video. Be sure to check out the links down below and hopefully you can become more productive when working with Kubernetes. For more two minute tech tip videos, be sure to follow me over on Twitter, subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so you know when future two-minute tech tips come out and until next time peace